Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited about this video. It is going to be very fun and very silly. Basically, I love me a good color palette. And also in my work with my job, I love creating different projects and series and things. And I love having a color palette to go along with it that is on brand. And you know how I love me some on brand colors. And this video is sponsored by the game June's Journey to celebrate their new update called Memoirs. And you will see later in the video the behind the scenes of a photo shoot that I did with Linda Blacker becoming one of the characters from this game and getting dressed up, hair, makeup, the whole thing, much more out of my comfort zone than you will see with my own brand color palettes in this video. Um, also, we are currently working on a rebrand for my podcast doing it. So in this video, you'll get a little tease, a little taster of the new colors of that rebrand. But without further ado, and so that I can just indulge myself in wearing outfits that feel on brand, because you know, I'm not a human, I'm a brand. <laughs> Here are my outfits inspired by my color palettes. So outfit number one is based off of the color palette for my main channel, Hannah Witten. And also this is the color palette that we use in my newsletter. If you're not subscribed, link in the description. Lots of fun stuff happens in the newsletter. But the main colors for this part of my brand is yellow, red, and pink. Now, this is the only pink thing that I think I own. So we had to start with this. Yellow, not a problem. Lots of yellow things. Although if you remember from my last video, my yellow skirt is going through a hard time right now with some bike grease. So we opted for my yellow Lucy and Yak trousers. So yes, the yellow trousers are from Lucy and Yak and they were gifted. And this top was a spontaneous purchase from on loan when they had their like pop-up store around Christmas time and it was a bunch of their like used and secondhand uh, clothes. It is originally from Farm Rio. All of the info for all of the outfits will be in the description by the way. And I also don't really have that many red clothes. However, as we have discovered, I have plenty of red accessories. So I went with my red bag for this and then I couldn't decide between two pairs of shoes. So I have my like ready orange sandals. I think they are more orange, but when you pair it with other red accessories, it does look a bit more red. Or these pink, shiny, plasticky sandal shoes. <laughs> so the red handbag is from Accessorize from a few years ago. The red sandals are from Clark's and the pink shoes I got for one pound in a jumble sale and they're originally from Primark, but I'm very proud of that one pound for those shoes because I adore them. But yes, this is my Hannah Witten slash newsletter brand outfit. I'm really pleased with how this came together, especially because this top was a bit of a spontaneous purchase and I bought it not really knowing what clothes I had that I could pair with it. And this combo with like the yellow trousers was not something that I had thought about before. So it just makes this top a lot more versatile for me because I'm like, oh, I can put it over the top of yellow trousers, yellow skirt, fingers crossed. <laughs> and basically I can wear other things with it, not just jeans. So this next outfit is based on the color palette for this channel, More Hannah. And you might also recognize this color palette from my Patreon. It is the common room color palette. And it's also what is on my website, hannahwitten.com. So this color palette has a orange, a more mustard yellow and a bluey teal kind of color. So it was fairly obvious to me to go for this mustard top that I have, which is from Topshop. And then I had this orange skirt that I paired it with that I got on Depop, which is originally from Topshop as well. And I've just realized that this blue cardigan I also got on Depop and is originally Topshop. So this is an entirely Topshop outfit. <laughs> this outfit for me is such a winner. Granted, this blue cardigan is fairly new, but the top and the skirt I've had for ages and I've never worn them together before. And I'm like, oh shit. This is why this color palette is basically my brand because I see myself in these colors and I'm like, damn, <laughs> this works. I love it. Again, I had some options with shoes. So first off, I had my orange 
Adidas Gazelles. And I love these shoes so much that I actually bought another pair of them on Depop in a like whitey cream color so that I could just wear them all the time with all of my outfits. So yes, we have the orange shoes to kind of like tie in the orange skirt or I have these yellow sandals. The yellow sandals are from New Look and they were gifted to me after a photo shoot that I did wearing them and I love them so much. Um, they feel like proper like summer, like going out for dinner sandals. <laughs> I love that with the different shoes, I could either dress it up or dress it down. This outfit for me is just a vibe. I love it. Is it my favorite one? I don't know, there's some more good ones coming. This next outfit is based on the colors of the Hormone Diaries, which is a series on my sex ed Hannah Witten channel that is all about periods and contraception. And I'm currently documenting mine and my partner's experience of trying to conceive, if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff. It is also a book that I wrote. Um, this doesn't have like the fertility stuff in it because that was written before, but it's got loads of stuff about periods and contraception in it. So it was the design and art team at my publishers that designed this front cover. And then this has now become the color palette for the Hormone Diaries. So we have the dark blue, the light blue, the yellow, and of course, the red. This outfit was tricky. Like I have yellow stuff. We've established I've got red stuff. Blue, especially two different shades of blue, was gonna be difficult. But I went with like a workout outfit because I've got these amazing red leggings. These were gifted from Fabletics when I was working with them. Um, and actually this blue hoodie as well um, was also from Fabletics. Oh, and, hmm, and this yellow thing as well. I hope that you can see it in this outfit. This was kind of like the only way that I could get all of the blues in and the yellow. And then this denim jacket is from Calvin Klein and they were doing a thing one year at VidCon where featured creators would get a jacket and you could have like something embroidered on the back. And obviously I went with my logo. That was mostly because I couldn't commit to any slogan or words. And so I was just like, this love heart face. But yeah, I really love this. It, I think all of the colors are so perfect. Uh, but I did do another version with this dark blue tennis skirt thing that is a new purchase that I'm obsessed with. Um, and this is from Girlfriend. And then I just added back in the red bag. <laughs> so I'm like on my way to go work out somewhere. Not that that red bag could like fit a bottle of water in it, but I don't know. This is my Hormone Diaries working out on my period outfit. <laughs> and before we move on to the next outfits, a quick word from our sponsor. As I mentioned, this video is sponsored by June's Journey. And I recently got out of my comfort zone doing a photo shoot with Linda Blacker becoming June. I was June. <laughs> June's Journey is a murder mystery detective mobile game set in New York in the 1920s. June Parker's sister and her sister's husband were murdered and she is on a mission and an adventure to find out what happened to them. I really love the art style and finding all of the clues. And as you progress through the game, you can decorate your home and your grounds and build it out as well. And I also just love a good detective murder mystery. What happened? The photo shoot was so fun. I really enjoyed embodying this whole new character and I really felt like a different person, just especially in that wig. I was not Hannah anymore, I was June. The shoot was to celebrate the brilliant female characters in the game and also the new release of the update memoirs. In the memoirs update, you collect snippets to complete pictures in an album and each album is only available for a limited amount of time, so you gotta get those snippets. You can download June's Journey for free now to get playing. Just click the link in my description and also head over to my Instagram where you'll see the final image of the photo shoot of me being detected. June Parker. So next up is the colors of my podcast doing it. And actually we are going through a bit of a rebrand at the moment. So I'm going to show you the old colors and then without giving away too much, I'm going to show you the color palette for this rebrand. And so the current colors that we have for my podcast doing it are green and red. They're very difficult to work with, hence the change. But if I say so myself, I put together some banging outfits. We have this cactus dress that is from Posh Posh. It was gifted by them. I believe the company is no longer up and running, but 
they had lots of lovely dresses and skirts that had pockets. And then, of course, of course, we had to just go with red accessories. So I have my accessorized bag, my Clark's shoes, and then also this red belt. Now, where did this belt come from? I can't remember. I honestly don't know. I've had it for years. I think it must have come with a dress or something at some point, but it has come in handy because I wear it with a lot of different outfits. I absolutely love this. And then my sunglasses are from Etnia Barcelona. My red and green doing it outfit does not stop here because I also have these green trousers, clots, whatever you want to call them, that were gifted from Joni Clothing, and then my red top that I got on Depop that is originally Pretty Little Thing. It still has that bleach stain on it. I don't know if you can tell. I still need to get around to fixing that. And then, of course, I had the red bag, the red belt, and also this green headband. And that headband was actually the belt of the trousers. And I often just wear it as a headband and I really like it. And then of course the red orange sandals again. And I love both of these outfits so much. I'm really into it. I think red and green, we often just associate with like Christmas, but neither of these outfits are giving me Christmas vibes. They are very summery and I'm into it. Okay, so next up is our new color palette for doing it podcast that will be launching soon. Very exciting, season five coming soon. We're currently releasing mini-sodes where my assistant Megan and I answer your like agony aunt style questions. Uh, so check that out if you're interested in some sex and relationships content. But yes, our new color palette is this dark blue, this kind of like deep pinky purple vibes and then of course a yellow and an orange <laughs> because i can't not I, I, I don't know how i just i am drawn to these kinds of colors and so then when we were redesigning the thing and i was pinning my things on my pinterest board i was like this color palette so that's how we got here so with the orange and the yellow no problems i got those colors covered in my wardrobe this dark blue and this pink though i did not know what to do however I had just completely coincidentally, not to do with this video at all, bought a tennis skirt and a sports bra, <laughs> bra, um, from Girlfriend, basically because I was getting way too hot playing tennis in like three quarter length leggings and t-shirts and I wanted to get my legs out to get tanned and also I'm taking tennis very seriously so I wanted a tennis skirt. <laughs> I wanted to look the part and it just so happened like I don't know if this was subconscious at all because I was drawn to those colours for the colour palette and then when I was picking my skirt and my top I was just drawn to those colours. So I got a dark blue skirt and then this like pink top and it's perfect for this colour palette and then I just put this yellow cardigan with it and my orange trainers and here we have it the new doing it color palette outfit also as you can see this top doesn't really look like a sports bra it is not for people <laughs> with boobs my size so when i am actually working out i wear a real sports bra underneath this top but i still love playing tennis in my skirt and my crop top i feel great and the movement in the skirt thing is so good and I just loved it so much that I actually went and bought a green one and a white version of this top as well. So fun times. <laughs> this next one was definitely the hardest one for me to put together an outfit with these colors and it is Pleasure Trove. <laughs> Pleasure Trove is a series on my Hannah Witten channel where I talk about news and culture and favorites in the realm of sex and relationships and all of that good stuff. There are a lot of colors in the Pleasure Trove branding, but the main ones that I think really stand out are the turquoise. I don't own anything turquoise. The yellow, the purple, there's like this pink color that's in it throughout. And then of course the treasure chest, the pleasure trove is 
brown. So it just so happened that I am currently renting this dress from on loan. The brand is Hayley Menzies and it's like a bunch of different pastel colors. You've got the pink, you've got the blue, you've got the turquoise, like it was perfect. It's really not something that I would normally wear but that's why I kind of like trying out things with renting and I think under normal circumstances I would have just returned this after trying it on because I was like mm, nah but I knew I was going to be making this video so I kept it. <laughs> but then of course we still needed the yellow so I paired it with this cardigan which I forgot to mention before is Weekend by Max Mara um, and I got it in a charity shop and then I paired it with this purple bag because we needed purple because purple is what the pleasure trove actual like font is in. Um, and this is the closest thing to like a purple that I have in my wardrobe. I have had this bag for about 10 years. I'm not sure where it is from, but I got it from my mum. Either she gave it to me as a gift or it was her bag and she didn't want it anymore and she gave it to me. So thanks mum. It's not the exact purple, but it is still purple. And then I paired it with my pink one pound jumble sale Primark shoes. Or, or, or I have these brown boots from Clark's because I wanted to tie in the brown from the treasure chest. However, I don't really know if it works, especially because this dress is so long on me and then it just looks a bit weird with the boots. I don't know, it's giving off like a, a witchy <laughs> kind of vibe to me. And then with the pink shoes, it's a bit more like elegant, dressed up, we're going to a party kind of thing. This one was a tricky one, but I'm still pretty pleased with how it did come together in the end. <laughs> And there we have it. Those are all of my outfits inspired by all of my different brands and projects and the things that I do. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know which outfit, which color palette was your favorite. And I will continue going about my life dressing up as a cliche of myself. You can click on the screen to subscribe or watch other videos from me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.